Hey guys, this is Tech Nitwit. I'm coming back to you with some more Unified products. I got a wonderful uh, Unify AC mesh adapter. I have the indoor and outdoor versions and I'm gonna do an unboxing. I have the antenna right here. This is the outdoor version. You can't really tell the difference. If you look at both these guys, they look exactly the same. You know, they look exactly the same. But if you flip them around, the only difference is I got, I markered two on this one. This is an indoor. And if you flip this guy around, that's an outdoor. So that's that's a big difference between these guys. They all come with little um, plastic dinghies that go around the cable right here and seal it. And they all come with this wall mount with a level on it. And I will crack this box open. And it's the same thing for all three of them. The product comes with all the exact same stuff. So I'm going to crack this box open really quick, guys. And let's get into her. So the reason I am doing this is I want to dumb my network down. I still want 10 gig, but I want to have mesh, a uh, mesh Wi-Fi, and I don't want to have to program it. I don't. The Microtech stuff is awesome. Um, if you have the money, or you want to save the money and you want to spend the time, go with Microtech. But if you want to save your sanity and you don't have the time, go with Ubiquity. So or Unified Ubiquity. Crack this box open. The first thing you're going to see is the this is going to have the AP in here. I already put the antennas on. And then this is a little plastic dinghy that I was talking about that actually seals the, the cable from the outdoor. So it's a, a neoprene, a Buna condom end that uh, protects you know the Wi-Fi antenna from getting different uh, transmitted diseases. So yes, it will protect her. This is a pole mount. And the reason you want to use a pole mount is if you're outdoors and you can get one of these the satellite poles, I have one. And you know what? Give me a second and I will show you what I'm talking about. But they have a pole mount and it's a pipe that goes like this and you can attach this. And say you don't want to have to go to your roof, you can attach it to your siding and then the pole is bent like this and you can get them in different footages. So you can have one that's like two feet, you can have one that's like four feet. And then you can put your antenna outside so there's no building, you know, within line of sight. And it allows the bubble for the, the actual Wi-Fi to go a lot farther. You have, say your building's like this and your antenna's down here. So that's why they get the pole mount to go up above the, you know, the structure. Pole mount's going to be like that. And then you attach it to that. And then it's above it. So the sphere of influence can actually go up and over the structure. So if your structure's like that, the sphere will go up and over it. So... That is one thing that uh, they do give you. So there's two mountings that come in. One is just a regular screw mount. They do provide screws in here. Let me get into the box here. And this is a PoE adapter. So this injects PoE into the line so you don't have to run a power cable and a network cable to it. So this guy just plugs into this guy right here. And then you, you bring your PoE in and you just make sure that the, the one that's red goes out to the device. And this comes from your switch or your, you know, router. So that is very important. It also comes with an extra, an extra, you know, Buna condom end and some screws and some anchors. So it comes with pretty much everything you need to do your install. And then it comes with these wonderful high tech outdoor white zip ties. And this is what they use for actually zip tying this guy right here, the zip tie around this guy, and this is what gets held to the actual device, it goes like that. So what happens is this goes on the, the pole, the antenna comes and actually snaps in like this. Let me get this on my hand. The antenna comes like this, if I can get it on there, it's tight, and it snaps, and then you put zip ties around right here and right here. So you put zip ties around right here and right here. Now, if you feel that the zip ties aren't gonna be strong enough, you can go get um, hose clamps and stainless steel ones and they won't rust and then put stainless steel hose clamps. That's what some people do. It's, it's really up to you. You can also put a clamp through the device right here so it can't be stolen. So you can put a clamp around there and then put one around top and that way someone can't come along and just do that and pick your antenna. You know, it's a little bit more security on the device. So 
that is pretty much, well, I got a couple more things to go through. Hold on here, guys. Let me uh, get rid of some of this garbage off the table. I really like that Unified provided two of these guys. I think it's absolutely awesome because at first I didn't notice they were inside the, they come inside the device. And if you're not paying attention, these pop out very easily. So I'm really happy that they provided a second one because I, uh, I lost one and I was looking around for it and I'm like, where? And I'm like, cool, they provided a second one. Good thinking, Unified. Um, you, uh, Ubiquity, you hit it out of the park there, Ubiquity Unified. So this is the 24 volt PoE adapter. You got your cable, got some zip ties. Your extra, you got your extra Buna common end. And then these come on the antenna to protect it from dust and stuff like that. But I'm gonna walk you through pretty much the setup of this guy. And they just twist on like that and twist off. When you wall mount these guys, you're gonna have the wall here. So if you got metal siding and stuff like that, you're gonna wanna take your antenna and you're gonna wanna put them out. So they're at different directions. So you might have one antenna like that and one antenna like that. And you're gonna do that because you want different planes. So you got different planes that you have. And that, it looks kind of goofy and ugly, but you can you know, kind of space them out. So they, a lot of people want to keep them like that. You can, but your best results are going to be uneven and on different planes. So you, get, you put these guys on different planes and you can mess around with them. Test your Wi-Fi, go to where you think you got weak signal and move the antenna around and see. Um, so it's, it's, it's a really neat idea and concept and I really like this. Other than the round guy, um, I do plan on getting another AP just for smart devices in the house and keeping them off of the mesh Wi-Fi so I can keep all my devices nice and fast that are on the mesh Wi-Fi like laptops, tablets, cell phones, um, Wi-Fi cameras that are 4K, they need all that bandwidth. So come down here, they keep, they got a little door notch thing that's really neat that retains the door. And this cable, it doesn't come with this cable. This is just one of mine. The reset button is right here. So if you screw up a configuration, you can actually get the reset button right there. And then you got your port and, it, and it's pretty simple. I would cut this cable, but pretty much what happens is you gotta have this end cut and this guy comes down on here. And then you put your, you actually put your RJ45 end on and then this guy is like on the cable. It comes like, if you've ever done where you put boots on a category, a cat uh, six or cat five cable, it's that's the same concept with this guy. You just put it on before you put the end on, you crimp your end on, and then you go in and plug it in and it, it's all nice and sealed. You really don't need these guys in the indoor, but if you're putting them outdoors, you definitely want it on the cable. And, that, and, it, and it's pretty simple um, device. And it's, it's really, it also has got a nice, it's got an LED light right here. It's white. It's got an LED indicator light right here that's white and blue. It, it also blinks to tell you different states that the device is in. Um, solid blue means the device is adopted and it is working properly. White means it needs to be configured. And that is, from what I've seen, just about all Ubiquiti Unified devices. Um, if you're doing firmware, it will blink white and blue. If I'm not mistaken, sorry, it will blink white. If you're doing updates and you're uh, adopting, it will blink white. So it, it's it's a very unique device. They have done a really good job to simplify this device and make it really that everybody can utilize this from the guy that is knows everything about networks and could set up multiple subnets with VLANs to the guy that barely knows how to set up a router. You could You could set this up in your home and get it working. It is that simple. Literally, it is plug it in and, and fill some stuff out and it's working. Now, for the more advanced crowd, there are settings in this that will allow you to do some, some more advanced stuff. All right, guys, this is Tech Nitwit and this was an unboxing of the APAC mesh Wi-Fi adapter, indoor and outdoor. Um, I'm gonna be doing the rest of these devices. If you guys have any questions, concerns, or comments, throw them down below. Hey, and thank you to all my subscribers. I really appreciate you guys and you're keeping it, you're keeping me, you know, rocking and I'm going to make more videos and I really, really appreciate it. This is Tech Network guys and I'm out.
Hey guys, it's Tech Knitwood here. Make sure you guys subscribe and like and hit that bell. Thanks.